Hi guys, how are you? Welcome to part one of my closet declutter and transformation. Guys, I'm so excited to share the progress in today's video. We get a lot of stuff done. I'm gonna take you through decluttering and reorganizing stuff out of here, the real life situation that my bedroom looks like right now. And I also have a lot of Ikea PAX tips and things I think you guys need to know if you are ever considering a PAX system. This is actually my second one. Um, I had one in my first house. There's things I did with that one that I wouldn't do in here. So at the end, I'll give you guys those Ikea PAX tips and tricks after we get through the process and just get so much stuff done together. So I hope you enjoy this and find it helpful. Please like and subscribe if you do. If you are new to my channel, I would love to have you. And let's get started. So here is your before, which is very unlike me, as we all know. So let's talk about how we got here. Now, we used to have the wire racks all the way around, but when we had our shutters installed, we had to pull them off on one side. So then I had piles on the floor that I have redone so many times, like surrounding the walls. But with a little kid, he would accidentally knock things over when he was playing in there. I wouldn't have time to pick it up. And then I would throw a pile in there to deal with later and it just slowly but surely turned into a disaster that I have picked up several times but this by far is the worst since I knew I was gonna be pulling everything out I kind of let it go a little too long and now here we are so I'm going to start by decluttering and organizing a little bit of everything at the same time I have to as you can see because it's just way too chaotic to focus on one area so I'm gonna be doing a little bit of everything in these first few minutes I really first and foremost I'm just trying to make some floor space and then we can add to the existing piles in there and then we can start taking things out so we're gonna make some real progress I'm gonna turn up the pace and it's gonna be very satisfying to see this slowly but surely become a much less chaotic space And here's a pair of shorts I forgot about that I used to love wearing all the time. We have lived in this house, I think like nine months maybe, a little less than a year, and I honestly feel like I've been wearing the same couple of outfits over and over since I couldn't find anything. So throughout this closet organization process, I'm decluttering, I'm figuring out what I need to get rid of and donate, and I feel like it's also going to help me to figure out what I actually need because I feel like my style has been shifting for a while now, and I've just been waiting to get this done. You can see things falling, um, so I can really like finalize and figure it out. So I'm excited to like start wearing cute outfits again and be able to find things. We're now on to the other side, which was even more chaotic than the first. So a little bit of everything again. I'm folding, I'm organizing, I'm sorting, and then pretty soon we're gonna start taking large quantities of things out of here. And this is the point I reached when I started pulling things out. So you guys will see that soon. I first was going to organize everything and then start bringing items out, but I realized regardless, I just do not have the floor space to work in here with all of these items. So I'm gonna do piles in my bedroom and it's gonna look chaotic in there for a while until we can bring everything back in. I'm going to have piles of dresses, piles of Chad's polos, sweater, shorts, so on and so forth. But I needed that room to be able to work and honestly to think because this was a stressful environment with all of this stuff and it was just hard to even figure anything out. And I'm doing a two-part declutter. Oh, how cute is that I've worn that several times and just realized it still has the tag on it um, so anything I immediately knew I'm not gonna need this anymore I can donate it I put in a pile and then also once I start bringing everything back in that's gonna be round two of donations because if I don't feel the need to put it back obviously I do not need that item anymore so now let's pick up the pace get all of this out of here so you guys can see an empty floor space we're gonna bring the shelves off the walls vacuum and get this ready to start bringing in the new closet system. Mm -hmm. 
Now, as you can see, there's a lot of windows in this closet, so it should be an easy space to figure out an organization system for, but because of those windows, it made it way more difficult than it probably should be and just figuring out like what hanging space can actually fit in here. So we only are going to have three rows of hanging space, but we're going to make it work because there's going to be a lot of drawers and a lot of open shelving. So look at my bedroom, guys. This is basically where everything went. I have my piles, like I mentioned before, and I'm trying to make this as neat as I can. But at the same time, I just wanted to get everything out of the closet so we can bring up the organization system. That's all for donations. That's just round one. So for our organization system, we went with the IKEA packs. I looked at everything I could find. This seemed the most cost effective by far and the sizing fit, even though I had to be like, I had to keep Xing off and Xing off things because it was so hard to make it all fit and you'll see why at the end. Um, it just made the most sense, thousands of dollars less than everything else and I didn't want it to be super duper expensive. So we're bringing everything in from the garage. We did home delivery for the vast majority of it. I am short six drawers that I will be picking up this week at the store, but everything else we have and I'm just going to finish up with a couple of seconds just before and after pulling the this stuff out because you've seen enough of that process. Then I'm going to take the remaining shelves off the wall, vacuum extremely well, has not been fully vacuumed in a long time. That was my wedding dress. Um, and then we're going to start one by one putting the organization system together. And these holes are from removing that first round of wire shelving like I mentioned earlier. We are going to wait to fill any holes until all of the bodies of this closet system are in. That way we can see which ones are actually poking through. And if it works out how I'm expecting it to, I honestly don't think we're even going to need to cover any of those. So I'm crossing my fingers about that. And here is the first section of this closet system coming in one by one. We'll be putting this together until we have all of the bodies complete. And this is basically the roadmap of how we're doing this. When I first figured it out online and I was handwriting everything and then I made a little map um, of each section, one, two, three, four, five different sections. So look at this, you guys. I am so excited to show you right now all of the bodies built and then and I have a lot more to talk about. And that brings us to today. So this is where we are at, guys. Um, I'm gonna show you around and give you those IKEA packs tips. So we still need to put in, obviously, the racks, the drawers, and the shelving, but we have all of the structures built. So on this side, um, this will be facing out with shelves and drawers once the trim is removed. So we're gonna remove all the trim behind these. That way they can be flat against the wall, secure them, and then that one will literally fit perfectly. We have no wiggle room whatsoever with how that one is going to fit on this side. This is gonna be hanging, hanging, one long hanging with a shelf at the top, a couple shelves and narrow drawers will be right here. And then on this side, all of this is going to be the drawers at the bottom and then shelving at the top. On this side, it was too narrow with the window for any hanging space. So we are going to make it work in here. And once all of the structures are secured and all of the shelving and drawers are in, I'm thinking about putting a bench right here. Should I just do a long bench? Should I do a bench with storage underneath? If you have any ideas, please let me know. I really don't think it'll be too tight um, for that. It's tight in the first place. And I would like to utilize, you know, as much of this as possible. So I could even do like a custom um, like Etsy bench 
with storage underneath, price that out, see if that's realistic. Um, I might do a mirror on the side of one of these. And then I also bought these hooks that they sell that kind of flip out to hang things on. I always talk about half dirty is like, I'll try and wear something um, a second time before I wash it, depending on how long I wore it the first time. So I plan on hanging my half dirties right there instead of in the bathroom. And also on anthropology and sites like that, they have really cool hooks. So I'm gonna do hooks um, either on the side of these or on the wall, but we're gonna make it feel a little more custom than it looks right now, slowly but surely. I grabbed um, the tripod for these tips because it was getting real heavy, but first and foremost, I do not recommend the shoe shelves. I had those the first time around. There are so many different components you need to buy for that for a very small amount of space. Yes, it's cool to have a you know shoe shelf that pulls out, but I had the narrow one, so it was literally like four pairs of shoes and I would stack them, so it was eight, and it was just pointless. I have seen people with the Ikea pack system store way more shoes and still have it look really nice with literally just the flat shelves, so that is the first thing that I thought of this time around that I absolutely was not doing, and I know I will have way more room this way. If you really want shoe organizers on Amazon, there's ones, there's a lot of different ones, but the one I'm thinking about like stacks them facing each other one out one in um, a riser essentially so I might consider doing that but regardless save your money on the shoe shelves definitely do not get those for organizers there's a ton of different IKEA organizers um, I went with the very inexpensive ones this time just the felt I've had the full body ones and they're okay but I, did, I actually kept those from our first house I still have them and I'm gonna try them in here but those are pricey 30 60 dollars just seems like a lot so you know, that's sort of like a personal preference thing. Um, these also can be used just solely like structurally, and then you can put wood on the outside and paint it and make it look super custom and, you know, essentially turn it into a custom closet. I would love to consider doing that eventually. Right now, we don't have the time for it, but if you're handy, if your husband's handy, if your dad's handy, your friends, whatever, and you have the time to do that, this can be thousands upon thousands of dollars less or a hacked Ikea closet than just like a traditional through a fancy company closet. So there's really a lot of ways to make these fit in so many different spaces. You can have doors on them. I'm just gonna do open, you know, since this is its own room anyway. But and Ikea can also help you figure out the configuration for your space. As long as you know the dimensions, they can show you different options. And you can schedule this online and then go in store and do it. They have computers in their closet section so someone can help you do it or you can just completely do it on your own. Um, I would recommend doing that on a weekday if possible. It's obviously super busy at Ikea stores on the weekends and it's just harder to have that one-on-one -on -one time. So schedule it ahead or if you walk in you might get lucky and someone might be able to help you, but that is an option. I recommend for anyone that doesn't feel, you know, super confident figuring out a configuration on your own. Shipping is something else I wanted to touch on because I know not everyone has an Ikea where they live and you can ship these Ikea closets to your house. Um, the vast majority of you at least, their shipping is kind of weird and you really have to play around with the quantities. Like I've told you guys before, a couple years ago I ordered picture frames and if I wanted 10, it was like $200 to ship them, so obviously not worth it. But if I wanted 14 frames, it was like $17 to ship. So play around with the shipping because it really doesn't make sense. Um, for example, I have to go pick up six drawers because they would only ship two, but it showed that all eight were in stock at the store they were shipping from. So play around with it, you guys, sometimes things don't actually all the time with their shipping, it doesn't make sense, but you might be able to make it work and ship to your house for a very affordable price. I've also had people ask me about painting these. Now, of course it comes in white, there's a beige tone that I love, and then there's a dark wood tone. I would be very careful about painting these, honestly. When you see people that have Ikea packs that are painted, it's typically someone that went that custom route, that they bought these structures, they covered it in wood, and then they painted that wood, not the actual Ikea structure. So I'm not gonna do that, I think it's so risky. But if you wanna do it, I guess send me a picture, I'll share with everybody else if it turns out good. 
So in part two, you guys can expect to see even more progress. We'll cut out the trim, get these stuck to the walls, put in the shelves, um, the drawers, the hanging bars, bring stuff in. You'll see even more decluttering. In part two, how much I'm actually getting rid of and donating. And hopefully we can drill the knobs in part two and put some knobs in. I'll find some cute knobs on Etsy. So I'm so excited to show you guys even more progress in here. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please like it, please subscribe, hit the share button below, share this with your friends, anyone you think would enjoy it. Recent videos and more will be linked in the description box and I will see you guys right here in a few days in a brand new video. Bye!